Number 68. Two cities have the same longitude. The latitude of city A is 9 degrees north. The latitude of city B is going to be 30 degrees north. Assume the radius of the Earth is 3,960 miles. Find the distance between the two cities. All right. So first, draw a little picture. Okay, here's Earth. And here is a line that will represent the equator. And let's just draw it like this. Okay. And this point right in the middle now is going to represent the center of Earth. So when they say you have a latitude, now remember latitude lines, right? They run horizontally, right? So basically, pretend that the latitude line here is called 9 degrees north. It's above the equator, okay? It's in the northern hemisphere. What that means, basically, let me draw a little line here that's zero, okay? If I were to draw a an angle in here that kind of met up with that latitude line right at the surface of Earth, okay, that would be nine degrees. Right in here, it's going to be nine, nine degrees. Now, where's 30 going to be? Now, you know, this is a little tough to scale because the picture's not that big, but 30 degrees now, if I had to draw another line on that side, right? 30 degrees might be to this one now. Okay, so let's bring that in. That's good. Okay, so let's say that's 30 now. And the question is now, 30. Okay, the que that whole length is 30. The question is now, how much further, okay, this is where it gets a little confusing. How much further is city B, let's say, from city A? Or what's the distance simply between those two? They want to find this, that. They want to find this arc length, okay? They want to find this. That's the question, okay? What's the, what's the, what's the arc length, okay? Now, we can use a nice little arc length formula, all right? Watch. Here's, here's what the arc length formula is. Arc length is going to be equal to 2 pi r. You might notice this as a circumference. You can also, it is actually, and you can simply plug in pi d there as well. You don't need a 2 pi r. What you're going to do then is you're going to multiply it then by the degrees of the angle you're talking about divided by 360. So this formula, there's really only two variables, okay? There's only two things that are allowed to change. R, the radius of the circle, and the degrees, whatever angle you're measuring, okay? So what we can do is we can find the arc length of the one in green, let's say, right here, okay? We're gonna find this. So for this, for that uh, uh, angle, we're gonna find the arc length there, okay? That I just drew in greenish, bluish, whatever that color is. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that. So the arc will be equal to two pi, multiplied by the radius of the Earth, that's going to be 3,960, multiplied by now the degrees of that angle, which was 30, over 360, right? So you can get it. So arc is going to be equal to, plug it into the calculator, 2 times pi, right? so you can hit 2 times second pi, then multiply it by 3,960, okay, and then multiply it by 30, divide it then by 360. And there you go. Okay, so this is going to be whoop, this is going to be now two thousand seventy three point you know five I guess ish doesn't really matter. That's the arc length for the one in green, blue, whatever that is. Now find the arc length for the one in red that I'm outlining right now. Okay, find this one now. When you do that now, when you do the one in red, arc will equal now two pi. Still the same thing, th same thing, excuse me, 3,960 times then 9 degrees this time, times 360, okay? So plug that on into the calculator. To save a little time, well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, to save a little time, what you can do is you can go to second entry, okay? Hit second and then enter. Then I'll enter in the previous information, hit back, and all you want to do is adjust the 30, right? The 30 turned into a 9. So simply delete that number, the zero, and change the three to a nine. And there you go, hit enter, okay? So this is now 622, roughly 0 0.0, okay? So here's the arc length for the one in red. Here is the arc length for the one in whatever color that is. 
Now, how do we find then the one in black, which is really the one we want, right? We want to find the distance between these two points. Well, what do you think? Well, if you know the one in green, blue, and you know the one in red, you can subtract them, can't you? Right? So the arc now of the black one will equal the arc length of the one in whatever color that is, minus then the arc length of the red one. So it's simply going to be, take this, so go up in your calculator, select that value, the exact answer, hit enter. That's going to plug it in now down here on the bottom for you. And subtract out now this answer. You can go up and you can hit enter there, or you could have hit second answer, and that plugs in your last answer. Not this one, but your last one. Hit enter, and there it is now. That's all it is. So 1,451, you know, 0.4. Okay, if you want the exact answer, just don't plug in the pi. You save the pi at the end, and you just kind of plug it in. You know, just not plug it into the calculator, but just throw it on into the... Well, don't throw it in. Just write it. Write it on in. All right, next to the number. All right, but it doesn't say they want the exact answer, so this should be fine. But there you have it. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I hope that helps. Oh, and by the way, by the way, right, what, what, what are the units, right? For 1,400. I'm not done yet. I was just kidding. Um, miles, right? Miles. All the degree units will cancel. Nine degrees over 360 degrees, they go bye-bye. So the only thing that's really the unit that's left is going to be the distance, and uh, meaning that the length of the radius, which was given to us in miles. So that's the value. It's going to be 1,451 miles apart. Right? What's that like? Is that like from here? Is that like from here? Yeah. It's like from maybe, I don't know, Massachusetts to Florida, maybe Maine to Florida, something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's all. I'm done. Cool. Take care, guys. Bye.